Hey guys, how's it going and thanks for coming. I'm Nick and this is Real Life Money where we talk about real life and money because you know schools aren't. Don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. So in this video guys, I wanted to share with you how I invest my money every single month. I like doing kind of more personal stuff like this. Uh, because we could talk about stuff all day, you know, that's great to kind of understand, but I usually learn from examples. So if you guys could learn from this, how I have it set up, what I do, what I think, I think it could help you guys out. And if you're interested, stick around to the end because I'll be telling you how much I, money I invest every single month. And I say every single month because... You know, one-time investment is great. You can make money, you know, like one-time gains and everything. But I'm more interested in growing wealth over the long term, like a continuous grow instead of like just a single investment. If you like sell it and you get a profit, that's great. But then you're going to have to do it again. So this is why I love this continuous growth strategy. It's easier than you think, don't worry. But we're starting off with the first thing that I consider very, very important financial information that I always look at is my cash flow. I will say this to the end of time that cash flow is one of the most important things we have to understand. Um, and that's our income minus expenses. So what's left over after you're spending everything? Um, so to make things really simple, let's say after you're done paying your bills and everything, you have, I don't know, let's say $500 left. What would you do with that $500? You know, you have that left over. Now you could use it. You could partially save it. You could partially invest it. Um, so that's the amount that you could play with. And you need to know that amount. Otherwise, you don't know what's happening. And if you're losing money every single month, that's not good as well. You have to focus on that. So maximizing our cash flow would be increasing income, decreasing expenses. It's boring, it sucks, and it might be stupid, but we need to know this to continue on, at least in my mind. So that's where I start. Moving on to the second thing is where I put investments. What do I do with this extra money? How do I invest? Well, I have it split up into retirement accounts. I have mutual funds and then stocks on the side. I'm not going to be focusing on the stocks just because I don't do that every single month. If like an opportunity comes around, a stock might be low and I want to buy in. That's when I buy in, but it's not every single month. I do have another video going over my personal stock portfolio. If you guys didn't see that already, I'll leave a link somewhere so you could check it out. So my retirement is broken down into two things. There's a 401k through, usually it's through like employment, a job, you know, something like that. And a Roth IRA, something you could set up separately. Um, so I have a 401k through my job. I max it out at 5%. That's just what they match. So I just match the same. I don't put any more into that. And by the way, I think they recently changed the maximum, but what you could put into a 401k every single year is $18,500, which is what I recently saw. So you could put that maximum every single year versus a Roth IRA which separately that max is 5,500. If you are over, I want to say like 50 or 55, uh, then you have a little bit extra. You could put in 6,500. So like I said, for my 401k, I do the 5%. Uh, separately for my Roth IRA, I do max that out every single year. So I put in approximately it's 5,500. Uh, it's not even when you divide it by 12 per month. But it might be around, I think it's like $458 and change or so. Uh, but that I do that. Now that's retirement accounts and I have different allocations. I'm a huge fan of large cap companies because we're all, we all know who they are. You know, we see their growth. Uh, so my favorite are large cap growth companies. Um, so I have most of my funds in that. Uh, so that's my retirement accounts. And I also have mutual funds. And I have that separation because, you know, retirement's great to have, but you're not going to be touching that anytime soon. So it's going to be sitting there for like ever. Um, so in case I need that for like more near term, that's why I have mutual funds. Like I still want to grow my money, but in case I need it for 
whatever, maybe if I want to get into real estate or some type of other investment, if I need money, I want it to grow somewhere. So that's why you choose mutual funds. Mutual funds, if you don't know already, is basically a bunch of stocks in one fund. So instead of choosing individual stocks, you choose one mutual fund and it has a bunch in there, which is great if you want, don't want to do too much research. One of, or the main mutual fund that I personally hold, I'll tell you guys because I'm open like that, but I like, I have a Fidelity account for my mutual funds, by the way. I have Fidelity Contra Fund. They've been around like since the 60s. Their historical annual return is around 13%. I personally did that calculation. I didn't look anywhere else. I wanted to know. I did a lot of research into this. And they have a bunch of large companies with growth behind them. You know, they have the Apples, they have the Amazons, Facebook, Google, and uh, Visa, who I love. There's a bunch of companies in there like that. Um, their ticker symbol, I wrote down, FCNTX, if you guys want to check that one out. So I put most of the money into that fund and also a little bit extra into just simple index funds. Very simple way to invest in the stock market. If you wanna do no research at all, index funds are the way to go. So now you go, guys know where the money is going, but how do I get it in there? Um, well, obviously from the 401k, that's just an automatic thing from your paycheck and it gets thrown into whatever the company they use. But for my Roth IRA and mutual funds, it's an automatic thing I have set up. It automatically transfers out of my bank account into those brokerages and into the stock market. And I basically don't have to worry about it, which is a great, great, great thing. Um, you know, some people aren't on top of their investments uh, because there's things going on in life. You know, you have a job, you have to worry about everything in your life. You don't wanna make every single month payments or you know contributions set it up automatically it happens and you grow money without even thinking about it quick suggestion is to never look at it i don't care if the market is up i don't care if it's down i don't care if it's staying the same it continues to go into those places that i assigned um if you get scared and take it out that's usually the worst time so think of the long term let it grow now this is all great and all, you know, growing our money and putting it in certain investments, but why? Why are we actually doing this? And I always think about this. Um, it's just when you, I see so many people out there, whether it could be parents, whether it could be friends, whether it could be anyone in the world, so many people have money problems. And there are so many problems out there, but I, don't want money to be one of those problems. Uh, when you have more money, that's more freedom, more security that you have. It's less stressful. You're able to sleep better at night. You could be happier because you don't have to worry about financial things. Well, that's exactly what I don't want. So I plan on growing wealth over the long term so I can have that as a some th for my future so you stayed around to the end i'll tell you guys now how much i actually put in so every single month all calculated together between the 401k roth ira and mutual funds is around one thousand dollars every single month now i also save money on the side like i'm not investing every single dollar that i'm getting but you need a good balance between investing and saving but i want to tell you guys this just so you could understand like how it could be set up and how it could be done and that you need to start it as soon as possible and you don't have to get started with anything crazy if you could start with a simple maybe hundred dollars a month that might seem like a lot it's like oh i don't have hundred dollars in my budget go through it you'll be surprised of what things you could either well one you could get a better job make more money or you could cut back on things usually i'm not a fan of materialistic stuff just buying things it's not going to make me happy so if i don't buy the thing i'll still be in the same situation and then i could use that money that i have because i didn't buy the thing so just start guys uh one of the biggest factors isn't necessarily the amount that you invest 
but how long you do it for. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. I always talk about this stuff. I have plenty of videos on it all over the place, um, but that's where you could really grow your wealth. And it's actually easier to obtain a millionaire status than you might think. Um, so definitely search around for compound interest. Do it for the long term. Unfortunately, it's a long process, but you can do it if you stay dedicated. So that's how I invest my money every single month, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you want me to go into any more detail of like any of these specific things, just let me know. I would definitely be open to sharing with you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I recently started for some bonus content. So I'll see you guys in the next one.